What's up, hockey fans? I'm Steve Delia with Youth One, and you're watching the Y1 Sports Roundup Hockey Game of the Week recap, where every week we bring you highlights and insight from an elite matchup in the world of youth hockey. Now, this week's game had national implications for sure, as the always intense Team Comcast was taking on the Neponset Valley River Rats in a battle of top 20 teams. Now, the 14th ranked River Rats are a scrappy squad who were looking to get their season back on course, and number three ranked Team Comcast was looking for another win in their journey to be named America's top hockey team. The game took place at Cronin Arena in Revere, Massachusetts, and just like the town's namesake, both teams were lighting the lamps in singles and pairs. The River Rats got on the board first when Cameron Finlayson put one in the net at 13 minutes. Michael Sayoni got the assist and Neponset got the early momentum. Eric Manukian of Team Comcast answered back though with a goal at the nine minute mark and at the end of the first period, the score was tied 1-1. Now a major storyline of this period was the amount of penalties on Neponset the River Rats were more like mouses in a trap, committing six infractions and spending a total of nine minutes in the penalty box in the first period alone. Needless to say, this draws a tremendous amount of wear and tear on the defense, who is stuck playing shorthanded for the majority of that first period. And in the second, that fatigue caught up with them. Team Comcast, always the squad to play smart hockey, took advantage at 12 minutes on a goal by AJ Drobot to give them the lead. From there, Team Comcast played with their trademark efficiency and offensive style, bringing the game to the River Rats and trying to wear them down. In the third period, though, Neponset showed true grit as Michael Fahey scored the game-tying goal, Monty Graham got the assist, and we had a game on our hands in the Bay State. It was tight and close all the way until the final minute when Aaron McGoyan proved the hero on the day, scoring the game-winning goal with just 25 seconds remaining on the clock. Team Comcast was pumped, and rightfully so, as they earned the huge 3-2 victory. Talk about a dramatic finish. That's what the game of the week is all about. Here's a few words from a couple of the stars of Team Comcast. I mean, at the end of the day, a score is a score. You just want to work hard. Uh, well, first and second period, we didn't go out the way we planned. But um, during the ice cut, we uh, cleaned it up, you know, went out there, just gave it all our best. Congratulations, guys. And remember, if you've got a game that deserves to be highlighted on our Game of the Week, hit us up on Facebook or tweet us at Youth One Media. That's it for this week's edition of the Y1 Sports Roundup Hockey Game of the Week recap. Be sure to tune in next week and all hockey season long for more amazing matchups. Until next time, I'm Steve D'Elia. Thanks for watching.